Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the brand new redesigned Solterra SLX lever drag reels by Okuma. Stay tuned. Now you may be familiar with, or you may have fished the original Solterra reels from Okuma. They were awesome graphite lever drag reels that went from a size 10 all the way up to a 50 wide. A couple years back, they came out with the A version, which was the SLX. That was the one that was black that had some silver to it. The original was black and gold. Black and silver was the second version. And then this year, they reintroduced the SLX B version of Solterra. Now these reels are thoroughly redesigned. They keep the same basic body shape and design, but the real unique feature within these, which is making them really incredible, is the addition of a second thrust bearing. So each of these Solterra reels has a two thrust bearing design. Now what that does is that actually reduces the side load pressure when you're actually reeling in these reels by 50%. That's pretty tremendous. A lot of times on your lever drag reels, and especially on your graphite lever drags from different competitors, when you really crank it up, you can feel the binding and it slows down and it makes it a little bit harder to retrieve every time you want to retrieve it. With those dual thrust bearings, you don't have that issue. Now to go along with those two thrust bearings, the SLXB version also features five regular ball bearings. So there's five regular ball bearings in the 10 and the 15, two thrust bearings as well as one anti-reverse bearing. So that's a total of eight ball bearings in this particular reel. That's the 10 and the 15 size. They also feature a double dog anti-reverse system as well. So there's a dual anti-reverse in these Solterra SLX reels. Very, very cool for a small compact graphite lever drag reel. So let's take a look at this reel. We'll start at the handle, we'll work our way through, and we'll take a look through it. Um, very cool little reels. That thrust bearing though, I wanted to mention that right at the beginning because two thrust bearings in a lever drag reel is very cool. So on the handle design here, on the 10 and the 15, you have the Ergo Grip, nice round comfort grip uh, handle design that Okuma uses on several of their reels. But it's very comfortable, great for your high speed grinding if you want to use this as your knife jig reel or your high speed or even your uh, slow pitch reel, works out perfect for that. Aluminum handle arm and then you get into your lever drag itself. So it has a nice ratcheting. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a very positive click, 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 click that runs through the graphite lever drag. So on the 10 and 15, you don't have the metal outside stainless piece where it actually clicks into place. It's got a more of a subtle click if you can hear that there. But it is a pull bar drag system. So when you put it into gear, as you can see, it pulls everything to that right side, which is where those thrust bearings sit. Watch that spool, it moves from this side and it goes this way when I put it into gear. I don't know if you can see that there, it's pretty subtle, but it's a pull bar drag system, very cool, so you don't get that heavy binding on that left side plate that you do on a lot of the competitor reels. We already mentioned the spool, but you can see it's got a nice deep V spool there, and there's also some indicator lines within that spool. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on the video there, but within that anodizing, there's some black spool indicator lines. Now what that's for is as you're dropping down the line, dropping deep, or maybe your line's out far, you're fishing a, a you know, big tune or something that happened to get far from you, those indicator lines will tell you how far that your line or your bait or your hook or whatever you have left is from the reel. It doesn't tell you exactly like your 50 yards or 100 yards, but at least it gives you an idea how far up and down on that spool yard. Cool little feature, it's nice. You also got that nice little gnarled area that's right on the bottom of that spool so you don't necessarily have to do any kind of backing when you're tying on any kind of mono or braid. We always recommend it. I always do on all of mine. I'll usually start with the mono backing and then go to my braid from there. Uh, that usually helps. It keeps everything a little bit tighter. You can still get a little bit of some uh, line um, turning onto your uh, spool if you don't use any kind of backing. So you always want to back it regardless of what uh, they say is on here. And then on the other side here, you get onto your palm side on these reels. These don't have a magnetic cast control like the original versions do, but they do have a very loud clicker design. It's got a nice, easy push button clicker. Turn that on. As you can see, that's quite loud. So if you happen to be trolling these, put that behind, you're gonna hear that clicker. It's very loud. I think it's actually quite a bit louder than even the Makaira reels on the Okuma lineup. Um, very, very cool. 
As far as capacity goes, I'm gonna look at the back of this reel here. This happens to be the 15 size reel. The 10 size is gonna be a little bit narrower, then this is the 15, and then it goes up to the 20, which is gonna be the larger, the trolling sizes. So you got a 20, a 30, a 50 wide, so quite a bit of reels within that family. And those are, they also have some uh, level wind as well on a couple of the different options, as well as, uh, actually I don't know, I think there's still some left-handed reels in there, not totally positive. But on the handle, I did mention that ergo grip right there. That's gonna be on the 10 and 15. When you get into the 20 through the 50s, it's gonna have the T-bar handle design, just like the Makairas. Also a high-end aftermarket feature, comes standard on those Solterra SLX. I'm gonna look beyond the camera here and just gonna go through some of the stuff here. So these are saltwater specific. So like the Komodo reels, this has a stainless steel main gear, pinion gear, drive shaft, and spool shaft. So you're not gonna get any internal corrosion on these. They're built specifically for saltwater fishing. So within the family of Solterra SLX, you're gonna have single speed, you're gonna have high speed, as well as two speed reels. So between that 10 and that 50 wide, you're gonna have several options. Single speed, there's gonna be some high speed versions for your, more of your jigging, your knife jig, you wanna get some speed to it, as well as the two speed versions. Those bigger reels, you'll be able to drop it down into low and really grind those fish back to the boat. A uh, very cool, very well thought out, little tiny compact lever drag reels. You have your $800, $900, $1,000 Makaira high-end reels, and this is gonna be more for your budget-friendly angler. And when I mentioned budget-friendly angler, angler, these SLX B version reels here, they started at $149.99, $149, and they go up to just over $300 for that 50 wide. Awesome little reels, they look great, they fish phenomenal. Having that second thrust bearing is really incredible. They do all have a carbonite drag system, of carbonite drag washers that have a Cal's uh, universal reel grease that's on them. It works out fantastic, very smooth. These guys have been um, pretty instrumental in bringing a lot of big fish to the boat over the last couple of years here in testing these new versions. As I mentioned, these just came out at ICAST 2022. They're on the market now. I think that first batch just arrived in the last couple of months at the Okuma Warehouse. But very cool reels. You know, ask for them at your local retailer. Check them out at okumafishingusa.com or any of your favorite retailers should have them at this point. If they don't, I'm sure they can order them for you as well. But I do appreciate you all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davey's World Fishing up in that right-hand corner. We'll see you on the water. <laughs>